Welcome to My Money, Your Choice, where I buy stuff, review it, and you can choose whether you want to buy it too. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Taurus G2C in the waistband Kydex holster by ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, Paul Graff. Before we get into the safety review component of the holster, I wanted to go over the firearm that I'm using. It's the Taurus G2C. If you're going to be handling firearms, make sure that you're following all the universal safety rules. Um, don't do something stupid. Um, I don't have any bullets in here. There's no bullet in the chamber. I checked before I started this video. So be safe, people. So the first component of the safety is is it a good trigger guard? Can I get my fingers in there? Um, I cannot. Um, this is a five out of five. Um, my fingers cannot get in there to pull the trigger without pulling the actual gun out. I can't even get, yeah, there's nothing. Um, there's just no way to get in there. So works great. The second component is the mag release. Um, you can kind of see it right under there. I give this a 5 out of 5 as well. Um, I have, will have a very difficult time. I might be able to get it if I really get in there. <laughs> yeah, even me pushing it, I can kind of half push it, um, but as you can see, it, it would require me to both push it and, uh, uh, and I can get it out. So I'm still going to give that a 5 out of 5. I think that's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It is blocking me from being able to push down on that trigger and then release the mag. Um, the third component is retention. Does it retain the firearm? Um, is it just going to fall out if I have to do a quick jog or if I have to walk briskly? From Is it going to fall out of my pocket? Um, so let's see here. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, now it looks like I'm pointing at my face. My face is actually not but I cannot get it out. Um, I cannot. So, yes, it does. Work. The other component of safety that I wanted to go over is firing grip. Can I get a full firing grip on it um, when I pull it out? Yes. So you can see my all fingers are where they're supposed to be. I can get it all the way around. When I pull it out, I don't have to adjust my hand after I pull it out. So one thing I noticed on some other reviews that hopefully I can get a video out for is while I get my hand around there, when I pull, when you pull the weapon out, it doesn't feel right. You have to actually adjust it to whatever that firing position, firing grip is that feels right for you or that works for you. So for the Taurus G2C, Polecraft holster, it allows me to do that. I get the full firing grip where I want it. When I pull the gun out, I don't have to adjust my hand. That is going to be the position that I fire the weapon from. And the last piece of safety, at least that I consider safety, is can you reholster it? Um, pull it out. Some, it is very difficult to reholster. So, this one is not. It works. It's very easy. So, the next category is concealment. Um, I'm going to do tucked shirt versus untucked shirt. As you can see on the tucked version, um, there's very little concealment. Um, as far as the gun, yeah, you can't see the gun. However, there's this big fat indicator that something's different right here. Not to mention, and for this, some clips, they do have a clip and you can kind of tuck the shirt as well under the belt. Um, but for this one, it's not. The, the shirt just kind of sits on top of this little clip. So for a tucked version, 
Uh, I don't recommend uh, getting this or wearing this in situations where you need to have a tucked shirt. So this is a one out of five for concealment and untucked. So for an untucked shirt, um, it's actually not too bad. The only problem, and this goes for uh, most, uh, I'll say, holsters in the same budget range, um, this clip, this plastic clip right here, um, it's really the only downfall as far as concealment. It tends to show up. Um, it just has a bigger area. So really, that's the only thing you're going to notice from a concealment standpoint is that fat clip. The gun, for the most part, is actually up here. And for me, it hides it pretty well. So I'm going to give the untucked um, an actual 4 out of 5. Because really the only thing showing um, is that fat buckle. Alright, so comfort. This is the next category. Is this comfortable? I know this is subjective, but I feel like you need to include this. Um, for this firearm, I am 5'10", 185 pounds. You can see that, that little shadow in my skin. That's it pushing into me, which most kydex holsters, or not kydex, just holsters in general, need to have some kind of pressure into you to keep it where it needs to be and keep it concealed. Um, the issue with this holster, that push right there, this holster is actually, you might be able to see it, um, see it's already rubbed off, um, but it's a little sharp right there. Now they, you can see they have tried to smooth it out, um, but it's still too sharp for me. Um, I got this tape to try and wrap around and put right here to prevent that rubbing because my idea for this was I would wear this oh come on focus in. there you go I would wear this um, um, holster without an undershirt so that was my idea behind this was okay I'm not gonna wear an undershirt I can just wear this holster wherever I want to go um, the problem though even with um, the holster is that my firearm <laughs> has sandpaper grip so even if the holster was perfectly comfortable this is just rubbing 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 and so it's useless and I for me I have to wear a undershirt under this so from a comfort perspective uh, I'm gonna give this an actual three out of five um, so if you're wearing an undershirt you're not gonna notice it it's five out of five uh, so it's kind of subjective but I'll say overall it's a it's a three Three for me. Last category is price. Uh, when I bought this, it was $23.99 on Amazon. Um, if you got Amazon Prime, got free shipping. So yeah, it was less than 25 bucks. So um, five stars, easy. Uh, so that's my review of the Taurus G2C in the waistband uh, holster by Polecraft. Um, it got 38 out of 45 points, which ends up to be a B. Uh, so not bad for a $24 holster from Amazon. Um, if you like this video, subscribe, like, do all that other stuff. And thanks for watching.